I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to make patterns using the given algebraic expression. An algebraic expression can represent a pattern rule. Draw examples to show the first three terms of each pattern. So what I will do here is I will write down an algebraic expression and we will then make a pattern which which will be described by that algebraic expression. Let the expression be n plus 2, right? Where n is figure number, where n is figure number for us, right? Figure number. So, so that is how we have given an expression. Now what you need to do is you need to draw some blocks which could be represented by this particular expression. Uh, to help you out, let me make a t-chart for you so that you understand how many blocks should you be drawing. So here is a t-chart for you for the given expression. So the expression for us is n plus 2. Let me write down here n plus 2. And here we will write different values for n. We will always begin with n equals to 1 and then go for 1 to 2 to 3 and so on. But on this page, I'm only going to draw first three patterns. If n is 1, then what is 1 plus 2 equals to? 1 plus 2 is 3. How about when n is 2? Then we have 2 plus 2, that is 4. When I write n as 3, that means figure number 3, that should have 3 plus 2, 5 blocks. Likewise, each additional figure will have how many more blocks? It will have one more block. Two are fixed. Do you see that? Right? So now you need three blocks to draw the first figure. And then you are going to increase the number of blocks by one each time to draw subsequent figures, right? Let me now write down here figure numbers. So we'll have figure number 1, figure number 2, and figure number 3. So you can take out a paper, copy this, and draw a figure where in the first figure we have 3 blocks, in the second 4, in the third 5 and so on but the expression n plus 2 should be clear when we read the figure okay you'll get an idea how can we do it so what we see here is that n is the number which is same as figure number so let us say my n is a circle so in that case n is 1 1 circle 2 2 circles correct I have 2 circles 3 means 3 circles one two three so that is my n for example right and two is fixed for each figure so fixed let me have uh, two triangles so I could have two triangles in each figure right so two triangles do you see that two triangles in each figure so I have a pattern in this particular pattern two triangles are fixed and we have one number number of circles which increase by one each time and therefore in every figure we have one more block each time as we increase the figure number so that figure represents the algebraic expression do you understand so we are trying to relate algebraic expression with the description and the figure correct so that is how it could be seen I hope you understand and appreciate it, right? Now, let me change, make a small change and then see how my equation at times may look different. And that is to say, what I will do now is that I will draw figures in, in a different pattern and that will be an exercise for you. So, I will give you another algebraic expression and what you need to do is what I did make a pattern using the expression which I am giving going to give you. Let us say your expression is 2 times n 
plus 1. So I'm changing some values here, right? So if my algebraic expression is 2 times n plus 1, first make a table so that you know in each figure how many blocks should be there. Then choose some block for n which changes, one which does not change, one is fixed, and then draw a pattern with first three figures, right? So you can pause the video, draw, and then look into my suggestions. So as we did last time, what we will do here is, we'll make the things which are changing, two times n. Figure number is one, two times one is two. So I need two figures here. Let me this time make two circles. Do you get the idea? Two times two is four. So I'll make four circles here. These are changing, correct? Okay. And then three, two times three is six. So I'll make six circles. These are changing for me. Okay. And what is fixed? One is fixed. I'll keep triangles as fixed this time also. So I'll keep one fixed. So I have one triangle, one triangle, and one triangle. Do you see? That pattern represents our algebraic expression 2n plus 1. And now we can count the blocks. We have three blocks to start with. Then we have five blocks. And then we have 6 plus 1, 7 blocks. So that is kind of the table for this particular algebraic expression. I hope you understand now how all these three things can come together. Describing your pattern, writing algebraic expression, and making a drawing with blocks to represent it. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.